Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to talk about how you can add filter in your grid view header. So in last couple of videos, I talked about how you can have templated components so that you can have consistent UI across your application. Then we talked about event callback so that you can control parent events from your child component. And then we talked a little bit about event handling to handle events on key press or key down events on the text box. So what we're going to do, we are going to use all of these concepts to add filter on our grid view. So currently, uh, my publisher list is not looking anything like this. It's, it's looking boring. You can see that there are no filter text boxes here, and we would like to add this filter text boxes. So uh, I'm going to go to my code, and you can see that I'm using table template here, table template, table header, and row, row template. So we would like to add a filter text box here wherever I'm using, wherever I'm passing uh, the table header. Instead of this, we would like to add a text box which will filter through uh, our row template and look for uh, the matching content, right? So uh, instead of writing code here, I would like to create a component which will handle all that and I could use that across my application for my other headers, right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a component which will do the same thing. Um, and I'm going to uh, say new item and it's a razor component and I'm going to call it as grid, grid column, right? And we will, so instead of instead of showing publisher name, what I would like to do is I would like to replace this with grid view column. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy this and instead of showing grid column, I'm going to paste it here. Okay, now this grid column is going to be generic. So this publisher name cannot be hard coded. We'll have to pass this as parameter, right? So I'm going to say that this is a column title. This is a column uh, column title. And instead of uh, using the uh, uh, publisher name, I would like to pass this as parameter. And that parameter, I'm going to set it in my child component. So I'm going to say it's, uh, it's parameter. And I would like to set it as a, a string parameter. And I'm going to copy that and paste it here. Sweet. So this. This is something which could be passed as uh, this could be passed as um, as a parameter for my parent company. Okay, so with this, we will also need a text box which could filter through my column, right? So let's go ahead and add that into um, into our HTML here. So I'm going to say it's it's an input, and I'm going to add a class here saying that's a form form control and it also has a place holder which is search right and i'm going to put it in div so that it looks nicer i'm going to say that i'll put it in div set column to column 10 and add row to it nice and i'm going to copy that and put it in my div sweet so in, like I said, instead of using the table headers that we were using before, we would like to use this grid column. So I'm going to say that don't use this table header, use grid column instead. And here I'm going to pass column title and this column title is going to be seen as publisher name. Okay. And now we do not need this header. So I'm going to comment that. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to remove it. I don't need it. Sweet. Let's run this and see how this looks. So if I go to my publisher page, you can see that I now have the header and the text box, which if I type new here, I should only see New Moon's books. Or if I type five here, then I should only see five lakes. If I type info system here, then I should only see this third publisher in the list. 
So what I will have to do, I will have to handle the on input event of this text box. And this on input event I cannot handle in this child component because my data is in my parent component. So I'll have to trigger a parent component event on my child component event, right? So to do that, we're going to use event handling. We're going to use event callbacks. Okay, so uh, this on input event, on input event, we cannot have that, uh, we cannot handle that in my child component. And we'll have to pass, we'll have to get that event callback from my parent component. To do that, I'm gonna I'm gonna create a parameter. Let's say parameter. Um, and this is going to be an event callback. And as this is a input, I would like to catch the change event arguments. And this is going to be a callback. I'm gonna name it as on search on search search text changed because whenever the search whenever the text of the search changes i would like to call a method in my parent component so i'm going to say on search text and i'm going to map it to the text box here so whenever an input happens on uh, on this text box this will call a, an event in my parent component okay so what we'll have to do we'll have to create a we'll have to create a function which will handle this event to do that i'm gonna go to my parent component my publisher and here i'm gonna say that we'll have to create a method and this is going to be same as on search event but this is particularly particularly going to search publisher so i'm gonna say on publisher search text and here i'm gonna catch uh change event arguments um uh, and those change event arguments will have the new value which has been set to, to the text box and to cat to catch that i'm going to say string search search text which will be a new text every time you input something in the text box and to catch that i'm going to say change event argument please get the value and convert that into two string Sweet. And now, now that we have, now that we have the search text, we will have to look through all the publishers who are matching the name which has been entered in the text box. To do that, what I've done, I have already created a property filtered publisher list, which is same as publisher list. This is just a copy of publisher list so that I can filter through it. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna say filter publisher list is equal to um publisher list be publisher list and this will uh i'm gonna say that publisher item um publisher name of this publisher contains contains the search text which has been passed then we would like to return all those publishers in our filtered publisher. So I'm gonna say search text. So all the publishers, please check if your publisher name contains the search text, then we would like to catch those in our filtered list, which we are going to populate in our items, right? So we have uh, this publisher list is going to filter through search text and which is going to assign to our filter publisher list. Now, the only thing that we need to do, we'll have to map this on publisher search text to our on search text of the column. So I'm gonna say on search text changed event, please map it to on publisher, publisher search text event, right? Let's run this and see if this is working or not. So I'm gonna run it. And if I go to publishers, if I go to publishers, and here if I type new, you can see that new is getting populated. When I say five, you can see five lakes publisher is getting um getting populated on my list. When I say info, you can see this third record getting added into my populated list. So now that you can see that 
I can uh, filter through the publisher name. Now I'll have to do this for do the same for city. But you know, we were we did not send what column that it should filter through filter through, right? So we'll have to send that and we'll have to handle in our event so that we can pass that as a column. To do that, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna say that this function, this function also this function also takes a string. This function also takes a string and this um, function takes column title, column title a string. And if the column title, if the column title is equal equal to, is equal equal to publishers, publisher name, then please publish, well, please filter to publisher name. But if the column name, I should put this in double quote, if the column name is city, then we'll have to look through cities, right? So I'm going to say if it is city, if it's city, then please look through cities. Now, this is the column title that we'll have to pass through, uh, we'll have to pass through our our filter list uh, through our event. You can see that now on text changed event is throwing an error now. So here I'm gonna say that um, at the rate we'll, we'll have to call an event and this event is going to call the same function. But uh, with this function, we'll, we are going to pass an event and also the name of the column, the column title, which is which we would like to uh, which we would like to filter through and uh, if we could do it with this with publisher name we could do this with series two right so i'm gonna say we'll have we would like to do this with series two so i'm gonna copy this and paste it here and paste it here and now our cities is also ready so i'm gonna get rid of that let's run this and see if this is working or not So if I go to my publishers and if I try to look by publisher name, I can look by publisher name. If I want to look by look by cities, you can see that I can look by cities. If I want to look by uh, look again by publishers, I can look out by publishers too. So this is how you can add filters on your grid view for your uh, templated components. And um, I'm going to convert my table template into grid view so, so that I can add more feature to my grid view. And the same thing that I've done here in my shared component, in my shared folder, I created this grid view which looks exactly like table, uh, table template. And I have already used that in my author's page here. I'm going to uncomment it so that it you can see it. Uncomment it. And then you can see that I'm using grid view for my author's page. If you have any questions, you can reach out to me on Twitter, Facebook. I code live on Twitch, so if you want to come and say hi, you can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.